I'm not having a good day. <laughs> this has been sitting here with the friggin' lie in it for 10 minutes now because the camera just had a stupid fit. Um, and I didn't even want to do that first. So I'm not happy with these, the colour of these things that I'm going to put in here. So I'm going to put some of this deep yellow in here and just give it a shake. Just to coat them so they'll have like a bit of a different colour around the outsides of them. Yeah, whatever that'll do. I don't care anymore. It's too late to worry about these things because the shit's hit the fan so just it's been a bad bad week a whole week guys of just shit hitting the fan everywhere and it's just aggravating me oh just i tell you selling a vehicle really lowers your um your expectations that humanity will survive oh I'm so i'm just i'm over people i'm so over people I had a dude here for three hours yesterday yeah three friggin hours honest to god three hours and then he decided not to make a decision because while he was here a chick said a message me said listen i want it i'll meet you halfway between you know here and where she lives which is now for me so that was all right um could we do that and i said that's no problem but i have someone here looking at it and i think that sort of i don't know if i put her off or whatever and um and then he took three hours to not make a decision, walked away, said I'll let you know within half an hour, messaged me back in half an hour, said oh I've decided I don't, I'm, I'm not going to make a decision now, and I was like oh, fuck, just, yeah whatever, so yeah, so I messaged her back and that was at 5.30 yesterday afternoon, I haven't heard anything and it's now 2 o'clock today, so yeah. And why does everyone think that or nearest offer means $500 less than the asking price? I don't understand that. I always thought that or nearest offer was like one or $200 less than the asking price. Did that change at some point in the, in the last two years since I've owned a vehicle? Like, I bought my Impreza two weeks ago and he had three grand on it and I got it for 2.8. Which is sort of what I expected to pay because he had three grand on it. So, you know, it's kind of, yeah, anyway, anyway, anyway. So, um, these I made up with the last yellow soap. They were the uh, cactuses and the, and the ones that I poured into one of these. So they're just all chopped up. I have shavings here from the yellow soap, which I don't know if I'll use. And the color that I'm gonna use today is lemon glacier and, which is a neon and some lemon sherbet which will go bright orange and <laughs> i have those in here together so i'm hoping it makes a nice yellow although it looks more green than yellow so we'll see um i'm not sure why i did that in there because i was just going to do it all in here oh god no see i'm just yeah anyway anyway i'm just going to enjoy the soap making process i've remembered to turn the light off above my head we've got a fresh battery so these are the positives um, and we're using uh, vodka moss, which I have in my notes here somewhere. Uh, I don't know which ones though. Won't be that one. Vodka moss. A beautiful zesty taste of summer. It has no vanillin. And it says you can use 30%. So this is one of these ones that someone has suggested are highly diluted which is why they have the usage rate so high, which is pretty shitty if you think about it. So we'll see how it goes. It smells quite nice. I'm not hating on it. Oh, yeah, no, kind of. It kind of has vodka -y notes though, so yeah. All right, what we'll do is because this is all going in here, I'll just tip it in there. Uh, I don't know why I did that. That was so weird. Why did I think I was gonna do something different? Uh, I don't know because I changed my mind at the last minute about this soap as well. So, <laughs> all right, let's just put all this in here because it is going to need a stick blend. So we will stick blend it before we put the fragrance in because I don't know what the fragrance is going to do. Uh, but neons always need to be 
mixed in an oil and then you definitely need a stick blender otherwise you'll get little bits so we will just do that and then I'll give it a stick blend and we'll see what colour happens let's see and watch the colour morphing magic It won't stay this colour. That first colour, yellowy colour that it originally went is what colour it will go. And I quite liked that. So I think we might be on a winner this, with this one. So, God, listen to that wind out there. It's so full on. Oh, shit. I knew what I was going to do. Shit. No, that's a star. Oh, that's a flower. For God's sake. Look, I'll just get them all out, and then that way they're all out. I wanted to make a sun. Uh, what did I have this standing up in last time? Something. Oh, shit. This big, tall one. And I put something in there, but I can't remember what it was. Down either side of it. I think it might have been a... It was. It was a bottle of fragrance. <laughs> there we go. Alright, so that's thickening a little bit because as I said, it did sit here for about 10 minutes before I mixed it up. So, alright, now I'll take the stick blender out and um, actually I might pour off this into there before I put any fragrance in it because it doesn't need fragrance. So, I need to just double check. Yep, she's all stuck together. Alright. So, let's see if I can do this without making a mess. What's the way you should take bets now? <laughs> that's it, that's all I spilled! Naha, so all of you who bet against me, ha ha, you lose. <laughs> so that means I lost because I would have bet against me too. <laughs> Alright, so let's see if we're about to waste a whole big chunk of soap, eh? In she goes. Whoop. Just like that. Just like that. Oh, dear. It's not very strong. Um. It has some really interesting notes to it. It's not awful. It's kind of weird. It kind of has like a chocolatey undernote, which is really weird. It's called vodka moss. But it does. It has kind of like, there's there's like an undertone of chocolate in there. So, hmm. It's definitely an interesting smell. Oh yeah, that's leaking a little bit. We can see. All right, but just put that over there. and You can watch that if you like. Because I'm not going to take any notice of it. It does tend to spread out in these bits a little bit, so I'm not overly worried. But that's, look at this, is behaving beautifully. A little too beautifully because they're going to sink. <laughs> oh well, it's always the way, isn't it? It's all good. It's all good. Maybe one of my dodgy old ugly moulds. Look, I've used one of these for ages. So, what I'm going to do, I think, is we'll fill her up halfway. Just like lay it. I've been watching too much of Bobby Duke. <laughs> I follow him on Instagram too, so I see his face a fair bit. Uh, not on Instagram, on um, Twitter. Alright, so we're just going to just put a few of these in here, like these, like these, and like they. And then, that one's stuck together, I can see. That's so loose. Oh, that's insane. Well, this one plays well, guys. So there you go. And they're not sinking, they're floating. <laughs> They're floating. Radio. 
<laughs> so I'm just gonna just put them all in. Oh dear. I just wanted to do something a little different for a yellow soap, you know. I mean, it's still all yellow. It's got yellow embeds. It's got yellow soap batter. It's got yellow mica. It's got a yellow neon. So yeah, so it should actually be interesting to see how it um, how it all turns out. I'm quite looking forward to seeing what colour this goes when it um, morphs back because when it originally mixed before it started doing the stupid um, uh, colour morphing, it was quite a pretty yellow. So. so we will see. Should we do that or should we do... We might do... I have a star one as well. I'm thinking I might pour the rest in the star one. Oh, I think that sounds like a good idea. What? Yeah. <laughs> Put that one down in there. They both fit. Kind of fit. Kind of. Oh, that's a little thick now. Oh, no. Just sat there for a second. Someone chopping firewood? I doubt it, but <laughs> it's certainly not cold enough for firewood here, I can tell you that much. That polar air mass that was coming hasn't reached up here yet. It's um, snowing everywhere, uh, like um, snow mountains and I think the Blue Mountains and all that. It's, there's snow everywhere. It's just not that they did say we were going to get it was going to get really cold. Um, it got down to five the night before last, but it hasn't gotten terribly cold here. So, like, not through the day. I think it's about 21 today, maybe. Well, it was 14 this morning. <laughs> At nine o'clock it was 14, so I don't know what it is now, because apparently we have no internet anymore. Oh, the reception, I don't know. We had a big blackout the other night, and um, for hours, and no one knows why we had a big blackout for hours the other night. Well, apparently it's still 14 degrees. There you go. Huh. It doesn't feel like 14 degrees in here. It might be 14 degrees out in the wind, but in here it's it's very pleasant. So, but yeah, we had a big blackout the other night. Saturday night, I think it was. No, because today's Saturday, so <laughs> must have been Thursday night. And the internet has just been absolute shit. Like either the NBN and the um, phone reception have both been absolute shit since. So I don't know what's happened. Aliens probably. <laughs> oh, seriously, the dude that was here yesterday for three freaking hours doesn't believe COVID's real. Oh, I took all of my might not to punch him in the face. So really, tell that to all the dying people. Oh no, it's just a giant conspiracy, just, you know, to put, keep people under control and like, yeah, right, whatever. You want to believe that, you go ahead and believe that. I'm like, what is this? <laughs> but, yeah. Every, I mean, look, and if everyone's entitled to their opinions, even if they're wrong, just, it wouldn't have been so bad, except then he started in on a whole bunch of other conspiracies, and it's like, oh, you're one of them. Right. So... That's too thin to do anything with. Uh, so I don't know you guys, what should we do? Um, the only uh, yellow glitter I have just looks like yellow sugar. This is really not very pleasant. <laughs> but we'll put it on here and we'll just leave it like this. This can just be like the plainest soap. But the insides will be the will be the interesting bit I guess. I probably could have left it. I was going to stay in here and do another soap but I don't think I will. I think I'm done for today. Done dealing with people and their stupidity. It's like a dude just messaged me before and says oh you know I'm really really interested and asked me a bunch of questions and I told him I said, oh that sounds fantastic. He said so if I was to turn up right now with, with money, what's the least you would take? And I said 2800 because 
I'm not taking any less than $2,800 for my van because it's worth it. Because the reason I have got now over 40 inquiries and over 700 views is because $3,000 is a good price for a high ace van, even a 94 model. Anyway, that's it. That's our yellow soap, which quite is quite orange right now. <laughs> I can't really tip it because, uh, yeah, we, we don't want to be tipping it. It's still a little... So yeah, that's it. That's that's the excitement that was the yellow soap. At least you get a quick one this time for a change. Jesus Christ! Phone's talking to me. Scared the shit out of me. Shit! Don't listen to me, you bitch. Far out. Holy shit. Oh, that no. Yeah, that give me a. Oh my God. I've got tingles in my fingertips. Oh, you don't expect things behind you to talk. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, wow. See, when I scare, I scare well. My kids used to love it. Travis used to love scaring the shit out of me. Little bastard. Now he just doesn't talk to me, which, whatever. Anyway, we won't go into that because it's 17 minutes now and I want to have, a, a, you know, an under 30 minute soap. So, <laughs> alright guys, I'll see you for the cutting and we'll see how interesting it is. Bye. Yellow. Aha, yellow. <laughs> okay, I'm funny. Ugh. I'm actually not, but look, it's yellow, it's yellow, uh, see the top, um, I uh, accidentally dropped the microphone cord into the, <laughs> uh, a, a here somewhere I think, so I just got the spatula and just sort of went like J -j 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 along the top just because it looks so terrible, oh dear. It was so funny because I unplugged the microphone and it just went split. <laughs> it is. Okay, so I have to tell you guys have to go and listen to the new BTS song. Even if you don't like K-pop, it's completely in English and it is such a feel-good song. It's so good. It's called Dynamite. And it's specifically meant to make you feel good. Like they, it's to make everybody feel good right now because the world's so shit so so yeah look at this she's tough this one look at that beautiful corners <laughs> yeah but this one it's also really late it's like three o'clock in the afternoon or something so I have to deal with more dickheads in the car so I'm just I'm kind of over it like you know if one more person offers me one thousand dollars for a $3,000 man, and I'm going to kick him in the nuts. That's it. That's it. <laughs> that is it. Oh, go through. Go through. And I just watched the first um, preview for the new Batman. Now, I don't like Batman. I like Superman. Uh, but I really like Robert Patterson, so... <gasps> Look! Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm happy about this. Happy, happy. Oh, yeah. That's good. I'm not a real fan of the colour of the inside. I've got to say, could you, could you focus on that, please? Thank you. But it's all yellow, and you can actually see. I don't know if it'll pick up on camera or not. Um, you can sort of see the... Oh, yeah, you can. The um, yellow on the edges of the cubes. So, I quite like it. I've got to say, I quite like it. So... Just something a little different, hey? Just focus, I guess. <laughs> I haven't got it any brittle in yet, so. <laughs> but yeah, no, I, the colours come up really nice. It's a really pretty yellow. That I think the neon just really sort of just lifted it. So, because it was like super orange yesterday. It did gel by the looks of it, which, yeah, you know, it was fairly warm in here yesterday. So. But I'm very happy, and the, the sparkles on top all look particularly yellow. They're not, but they, but it looks quite yellow on top. So, I'm very happy with this, I have to say. Very happy. It was nice to just come in here and cut a soap that I didn't have to worry about. It was just a soap, you know. <laughs> I'm about to go and binge Lucifer. 
I just sort of post Viv, she's a crazy um, Lucifer fan. And I didn't even know it was on yet. So I was been looking for something to watch. So I'm very glad that I saw that. So I will be watching that momentarily. I do absolutely nothing for the rest of the afternoon. Well, I'll be printing things on the printers, but considering that some prints take 15 hours, I don't necessarily have to hang around them and do things every five minutes. So, Although the two shapers takes four hours to print. So every four hours I change the change the prints over and get them to print something new. So just focus, will you, you stupid thing? <laughs> All right. I don't know. Do you actually want to see me unmold these things? I will. You don't have to watch if you don't want to. Oh, okie dokie. What do we got? What do we got going on here? Oh, there's minimal leakage. Like, you can see there's this little bit here. But, I mean, really, it's not a lot. Okay, so I'll just in here with 10C. With 10C, I talk to you like your babies. Yeah, I mean, there's just a little bit there. Oh, there's a little bit more on this side, as you can see. It's come right out. But I mean, seriously, it's it's absolutely minimal. Well, now that's interesting. Look at that. Oh, we focus. Don't be a dick. No. Oh, just I will hurt you. <laughs> I will hurt you, camera. Don't think I won't. Oh my God. There, there. We kind of see how it's orange. And then I poured a little bit more. Remember, I poured in a little bit more. So, that's very interesting, isn't it? But yeah, there's, there's minimum. I mean, that's so, look, like, thin as. So, it definitely doesn't um, leak. So, I suppose, I mean, when you when you look at it in the minimal amount of wastage you get and how little they leak, now they're going to have to be washed. I guess that kind of makes them worth the money. That maybe they're not worth the money when you can pick them up off AliExpress for half the price. Um, I don't know if they're actually worth the, that thing there because that's pretty much what you're paying for. And you all know how I feel about brands paying for brand names. I'm not a fan because most brand names don't live up to the hype. That's 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 pretty much what I find is, I mean. Ah, oh, shit, I broke it. <laughs> shit. Oh, dear. Now my brand name's not living up to a type because I don't know how to unmold soap. <laughs> shit. No wonder it broke really easy. Seriously, you guys have to go and listen to Dynamite. It's such a fun song. It's... It's just like, it's very disco and you just sort of want to start dancing. It's all sort of very, it's really fun. It really, really is a fun song. Uh, all right. We'll leave it there and I will clean up and I will come back and make soap next time. For you guys, it'll be um, four or five days. For me, I don't even know how long it will be. <laughs> but until then, have a lovely day, week, month, year, everything. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>